check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, fellas. So what you see here today is my Huawei P20 Lite Mate and it's my daily driver and what we're gonna do today is coat both sides, the top and the bottom side with a hydrophobic or some people like to call it a oleophobic coating and let's see how it goes. So let's get started but before that, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of the latest upcoming videos. Let's move forward. So what we would need is of Check course our mobile. mobile without the back cover. We need the hydrophobic coating, the non-fibrous tissue paper that comes with the hydrophobic coating and a pair of gloves and maybe a microfiber towel. So let's get started guys. So since we are dealing with uh, chemicals, this is a chemical of course, you see that, always wear gloves, it's always good to be on the safer side. So this mobile has been under this cover since day one, I bought this, so I'll show you the hydrophobic coating or the oleophobic coating on the back side is still really nicely preserved, but the front side is has been worn out and I'll show you in a moment. So this tissue paper is pretty heavily soaked in water and you can see that the water is actually wetting the surface and in fact if you see from the side it's wetting the surface which is more in contact with the hands more that means that this area which is um, normally more in use gets more worn out with, with the hydrophobic coating but the back side look at this it is still pretty good look at that the water is still not sitting on the surface so this is what we will do still we'll coat the entire phone with the hydrophobic coating so let's get started or move forward i'm gonna clean the surface with uh, dried tissue paper as much as possible both sides Next, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol to again clean both sides free of any grease or sticky material. So, in this step, see that? The back side is really nicely already coated with hydrophobic coating. I mean, there is really no need to coat, coat the back side at this point since, as I just mentioned, it's, it was covered with phone covers ever since this mobile was bought look at this it's completely wetting the surface of see that ok so make it as clean as possible give the sides a good thorough clean especially the crevices use a tweezer if necessary ok so the the top surface the is absolutely so clean right, of any grease and I'm using a microfiber towel to remove even very small pieces of dirt. And right here, open up your bottle, take two and only two drops of the hydrophobic liquid. I coat the entire top surface with the hydrophobic coating. It's preferred that you do it in one direction. And I'll coat the sides and the back side as well. You could even coat the lens, it doesn't matter. This is going to produce a very very thin layer. Approximately, people have done some experiments, it's in nanometric range, so it doesn't matter how much you go. 
load on the lens as well. In fact, it's going to prevent the lens to get the water as well, especially. So, okay, so we have done the coating of like a single coating of entire sides, all the sides, I would say. Now we have to leave it for 10 minutes and not more, please. You have to be back in, get back in like nine minutes and then the rest one minute will use for cleaning. By the way, it is just by the time it takes 10 minutes. Um, just a couple things that I wanted to tell you. This hydrophobic coating or oleophobic coating also seals the very small scratches that are present on the surface. It's very difficult to see with the camera, but with the naked eye, I can see that there are very small tiny scratches. But we'll do two or three. It's preferred that you three coatings of this hydrophobic coating. Uh, we have done just one. We'll dry the first one. So I'll be back in seven minutes. Okay, so it's almost 10 minutes. A little less maybe, but that's fine. So I'm going to use a normal tissue paper to remove all this thick layer of hydrophobic coating that you can already see. Remove that as nicely as possible. Right, so from the back side. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Okay, so it's pretty clean. I'll wait for half an hour and then make a second coat of the hydrophobic coating again. Half an hour has passed. I'll take the second piece of the small tissue paper and again take two drops of the hydrophobic coating and repeat the process again. Again, front and the back side. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do the back side as well. I will do it because I want to restore my phone to the factory like shine and without scratches. It sounds right, boys. So I've done the second coating already and uh, I'll wait for 10 minutes and then I'll be back. I'm back after 10 minutes. So like we did before, clean out every extra bit of remaining hydrophobic coating. Do that off camera, I'll be back. Back side as well. Sides. The second layer is also thoroughly clean. Yep. Wait for 10 minutes or sorry, 30 minutes and then we'll do a third coat. I'll do that off camera and I'll be back when the third coat is done and removed. Okay fellas, so I'm back after the third hydrophobic coating and cleaning and all that stuff. So I'm going to use this dropper to put a lot of water here and you'll see that it doesn't want to stay here it just drops right over look at that the water doesn't want to stay I can put some more water so we have really made the surface of the phone hydrophobic beautiful demonstration of science so I call it a success guys and yeah before we end up I again request you to please subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of latest upcoming videos that will be helpful to you hopefully that's my aim it's DIY guys thumbs up bye